hey guys welcome back so today in this video we're gonna talk about the tuple declaration in our previous video we talked about what are different declaration modes that we can use in PineScript, and we also talked about a little bit about the tuple declaration but in this video we're gonna go into depth of what uh, how what are tuples and how you can use them in PineScript. so first of all there are multiple functions in PineScript which give us more than one output okay and one of the one examples is blinger bands in blinger bands we get three lines or three moving lines uh, those lines are the upper band the lower band and the middle band now if we want to assign the value of each band to a different identifier we can use the tuple and a tuple declaration here we can see that the definition of tuple is when we call a built-in function that produces more than one output and want to store the values that return a tuple declaration must be used which is a comma separated set of one or more values enclosed in brackets okay this allows us to declare multiple variables simultaneously and this is a very very good function which you can use and which also reduces the complexity of your code so first as i just said let's go through an example in order to understand this here we can see that uh, let me just apply the bollinger bands indicator first so bollinger bands and inside this bollinger band indicator i'm gonna go here and here we can see the arguments that bollinger band takes is the length and the multiplier so i'm gonna go here and give it five and four value so length is going to be 5 and standard deviation is going to be 4 okay so i'm gonna hit okay and here you can see that the linear band indicator plotted these lines now here you can see that these are three lines that linear bands is producing and if we want to assign the values of these lines separately to different identifiers we can use a tuple here and what tuple will do is it will allow us to declare those identifiers inside the square brackets separated by commas and then after that we can just go here and uh, assign this uh, Bollinger Bands values to those identifiers. So this is the format we will do. Here we can see that Bollinger Band middle, Bollinger Band upper and Bollinger Band lower. So these values will be costed to these identifiers. So first let's plot the linear band middle let me just go here linear band middle and then let me just go here and plot linear band upper and also let me go here and plot the linear band lower okay so now i have plotted these values as well and uh, here, here i have used the indicator and but also here i have plotted these values as well and now let's add this to a chart and see if we, uh, this tuple was declared correctly so let me just go here and add to chart and i'm gonna do that so here you can see that let me just comment this close so that it does not plot its value and here you can see that the blinger brands is per plotting this here since this is plotting this plot is being plotted in a separate window and in order to plot this on the chart i'm just going to go to this indicator name and say i want the overlay to be true what this will do is it will plot these values on the chart so let me just go here and add this and let me just hide this here so here you can see that the Blinger band, these values of these Blinger bands were plotted here on the chart. And there's no difference between the values of the indicator and the values of the code that we just made or we just assigned. So this is how you can use the multiple values that different functions produce in PineScript and assign them separately to different identifiers and use them later in the code. And this is a very helpful method to keep your code simple and straight and also 
get the most out of your, the built-in functions that are available in PyScript. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I would love to answer them. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.